What is up everyone, welcome back to the Who Has Pod, I'm Kate and Janish, and while you're here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. The Saints just got some very exciting news, they extended defensive end Carl Granderson to a four-year deal worth $52 million, but includes $35.3 million total guaranteed. This is awesome for the Saints. Carl Granderson has been outstanding, he's been one of the best defensive ends, overall just edge rushers, pass rushers in general this season. I believe he's tied for second in the NFL with total pressures with 11. I believe Cam Jordan is tied with TJ Watt or like Miles Garrett for number one with 12 pressures. So Carl Granderson's playing out of his mind this season. He was an undrafted guy back in 2019. Didn't make so much noise that season. 2020, he had a few solid plays. I believe he had a sack on Mahomes, but he was kind of like a rotational guy, kind of like Tano Passanio is for the Saints now. But that's, that was basically his role back then. 2021 improved a little bit. But last season, he started going on a rampage at the end of the year. He was taking snaps away from Marcus Davenport. He was becoming the starter. And he was an undrafted guy and taking snaps away from a guy who was a first-round pick. Maybe not the Saints spent two first-round picks on Davenport. And maybe if the Saints didn't do that, someone else might have spent a first-round pick on him. So... Th- there is talent there. Obviously, Davenport had issues himself, but we're here to talk about Carl Brainerson, and this is outstanding news for the Saints as well because they've been trying to find a good edge rusher to compensate and help out Cam Jordan basically for the past five, six seasons. They spent two first-round picks on Marcus Davenport. Didn't work out. The talent with him was there. You saw multiple flashes at times where you're like, this dude's the best pass rusher on the team in the NFL. And other times, it's like, why was this guy a first-round pick? Why did the Saints waste two first-round picks? And then he also couldn't stay healthy. Um, So the Saints missed there. Then they spent a first-round pick on Peyton Turner, who just hasn't been able to really be on the field to showcase what his talent really is. Then they spent a second-round pick on Isaiah Foskey. He's a rookie, so we don't really have too much to say about him quite yet. But the Saints have tried really hard to have a good edge rusher opposite of Cam Jordan, help him get more pressures and sacks and just take the attention off of him and it seems like they might have found their guy Carl Granderson he has already I believe a sack and a half or two sacks already in these first two weeks and I believe he's on pace for around 20 21 sacks I feel like this is a really fair and good deal for Granderson it puts him at around 13 ish million per season and it's better to get it done now than say if he keeps going on this pace at the end of the season he might have been getting 20 ish million a season if he keeps going the way he's going obviously the Saints missed on one with Trey Hendrickson. He really only had one good season with the Saints. The Saints were also in a hundred million um, in dead cap space because of the pandemic, all of the fans and stuff like that. Basically, created havoc. It was between Hendrickson and Marcus Williams. Sean Payton wanted to go with Marcus Williams. Trey Hendrickson walks. I firmly believe Dennis Allen would not have let Trey Hendrickson walk, but. Also, it was a tricky situation given the cap and all of that, but here we are now. The Saints, Carl Granderson is their guy. He's been balling out. He had a huge strip sack against the Panthers on Monday night, which might have saved the game because they were in the red zone. They could have kicked a field goal, and the Saints only won by three points, so they would have probably put the game 20-20. to Obviously, things change, so maybe the game doesn't play out the way it did um, if Granderson doesn't cause that strip sack. But just want to give... A little update about Carl Granderson and the Saints doing this um, extension. Like I said, better now than later when you might have to pay him $20 million a season. Better to get it done now. I feel like it's a fair contract. Carl Granderson's doing an outstanding job. He beat out guys during training camp. Peyton Turner, Tano, Passaniel, Isaiah Foskey. Those aren't big names to beat out, but he beat them out. He's earned the starting role. He's had a lot of pressures. He's expanded his pass rushing abilities from power to speed to like spin moves and all that stuff he's improved a lot in the running game this is a really outstanding job by the saints to find him and extend him back in 2019 to extending him now and good job from granderson too just finding a way onto the field and playing better expanding his skill set and just being a better overall player his run stuffing game as well has been outstanding we covered that in one of our film reviews just overall, I think it's a great situation for the Saints because now Carl Granderson going against the Packers tomorrow. They're out their left tackle, I believe, or he's questionable, and their left guard is out. 
might be a good matchup for Carl Granderson. Cam Jordan gets less attention on him. Interior guys have been better, allowing the edge guys to be better. It's just an overall good situation for the Saints, and Carl Granderson is not getting away from him. So I know it was a quick video, but I wanted to get this little update out for you guys before uh, we talked about the game tomorrow or monday so if you made i appreciate it for if you made it this far i appreciate your support hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys to talk about the saints and packers game next time